Hey what's going on everyone, my name is Magic and today I have another episode of Wonder Weapon Comparison. If you're watching this video on someone else's channel other than mine, check the description where you can find a link to my channel. And if you're already watching my channel, then that's pretty awesome. So I would just like to explain the series just in case this is your first episode. And if this is your first episode, I would recommend going back to check out my other episodes. I have like seven other or something like that, I'm not quite sure. So what I do is I take two Wonder Weapons from Call of Duty Zombies and I compare them and usually they're weapons that are alike. And you guys decide in the comments section after I've kind of broken down the weapons in different categories which one you prefer or think is better, and then I will announce the winner in the next episode. So before we get started on this episode of Raygun vs. Raygun Mark II, I would like to announce the winner for the last episode where I had the Blundergat and Silco Fire face off. Now in the comments section you voted that the Blundergat won, and surprisingly this was a landslide. I mean, I was thinking of it, thinking it was going to be pretty close, you know. I was thinking like the Silco Fire was going to win it, even though I personally said the vitriolic withering was better not the blunder get but they're the same gun anyways just as pack a punch version would be better and it was a landslide it was like eight to two in the comments section like every eight blunder gets there was two slick of fire so you know obviously blunder get won that one and so guys let's get started on the ray gun versus ray gun mark two so the first category we have is ammo and basically these weapons are basically the same in ammo because they are the same weapon but the ray gun holds 20 to clip and 160 reserve, but when it's upgraded to the Porter's X2 ray gun, it holds 40 to clip and 200 reserve. And the ray gun Mark II is basically the same exact thing. It holds 21 to clip and 162 reserved, and when it's upgraded to the Porter's Mark II ray gun, it holds 42 to clip and 201 reserved, which is only a three bullet or a three ray or laser difference. So, you know, that's not really going to affect your choice or outcome of this video in any way. So next category is which weapon is the most powerful? Now this one's going to go to the Raygun Mark II because I'm going to mention this later in the video as well. The Raygun stops being one hit one kill about like round 20-ish, 25, something around there. The Raygun Mark II will actually keep being one hit one kill up until like round 60, which is insane and it's a pretty powerful weapon. So obviously the power uh, category is going to go to the Raygun Mark II but the overall outcome of this decides, uh, lies in your hands, the commenters or reviewers hands. The next category is one hit one kill, which is what I just said, around 25 is when the ray gun starts to basically no longer start to kill in one hit and the ray gun mark 2 stops killing in one hit at around 60. The next one is least splash damage, and the ray gun mark 2 has absolutely no splash damage and the ray gun has plenty Meaning, if you don't have a PhD flopper perma perk in buried, then you know it could be a little bit harder. But something I would just like to point out, um, I don't know if you've noticed this or it's not really a thing, but it seems like that the ray gun in Black Ops 2 has less damage uh, than the ray gun in the first Black Ops. I don't know. I just feel, I just feel like I don't kill myself as much in Black Ops 2. I mean, granted, the first Black Ops had PhD flopper. But whenever I didn't have PhD Flopper in the first Black Ops, it seemed like the ray gun was much more apt to kill you. It seemed a lot more powerful. So that category is going to go to the ray gun Mark II, obviously. The next category is which weapon is most useful. Now this one is also going to go to the ray gun Mark II because it's more powerful and it would take you into much farther rounds, which is like double, double the rounds that the ray gun will take you. It also fires three shots at once. And it's more of a laser weapon. It's not. It doesn't shoot rays like the ray gun. It shoots a true laser that goes straight through a horde of zombies. Say you just round up a horde of 24, you shoot one of them, and it's a laser. So it's it's not going to be like the ray gun and just kill one, the first one that's in the in the line of zombies. It's going to go through the first and out through the back and kill like all of them, depending on what round you are. Uh, if obviously if you're on a lower round, it's going to kill the entire horde or everything it hits. On the higher rounds, though, it will go through a couple, but obviously you won't kill all of them. So, the most useful weapon is going to be the Ray Gun Mark II. The next one is most kills with one shot, and again, the Ray Gun Mark II. It doesn't really seem there's anything bad about this weapon. It basically beats the Ray Gun in all categories, meaning that most likely everyone's going to say Ray Gun Mark II in the comment section below. But why does it have the most kills with one shot? Well, obviously because the Raygun Mark II is a three-shot spray weapon. It shoots three lasers at one time, meaning it's three times the power. But it is using three times the ammo, but it's worth it because it does kill more than three times the zombies. Say you use the Raygun to kill one zombie. With that one zombie you killed with that Raygun, you could kill like 14 with the Raygun Mark II, depending on what round you are, because it does vary depending on how far you go into the games. 
So obviously later rounds are going to be more, much more useful when using the Ray Gun Mark II. So in this comparison, it seems that the Ray Gun Mark II is overall a lot better than the Ray Gun. And um, originally, I, f I felt that the Ray Gun was better in my opinion. I like the feel of it a lot more. But I actually tried to play a little bit harder, the, uh, played a little bit better the other day. I made it to round 33. I went, only went to round 30. I, I, okay. Let's um, try and make this a little bit better. I wasn't really talking that well there. I was kind of getting stuff mixed up right there. I don't know why. Because um, I'm taking this all in one take, so, you know. Um, I went. My goal was to get to round 30, and after I got to round 30, I stopped caring. I didn't buy any more quick revives, and I flawlessed it to 30, so I was happy, and I just kind of let myself go down. And in that, I was using the Raygun Mark II, and in that game, I realized how useful the Raygun Mark II is. I underestimated it. I kind of, like, put it behind the ray gun, because I'm like, I'm used to this weapon, I like this weapon a lot more, I can't get used to this ray gun Mark II, the feel is different. I like the ray gun Mark II a lot better than the ray gun, especially because it doesn't have that splash damage, meaning if you get trapped in the corner, then you can just spray, 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 and all the zombies are dead. So, it's overall a lot more useful weapon than the ray gun, and the reason I did this comparison is because it was highly requested, and I will also have a comparison of the Paralyzer coming out soon. So if you guys did enjoy this breakdown, remember to click the like button and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. And also leave a comment which gun you like better, the Raygun Mark II or the original Raygun. And leave a comparison of two weapons down in the description below what weapons you want me to compare next. And also leave me something with, leave me another category, another way to basically compare the weapons. Because, I don't know, all these categories seem the same, but really the concept is the same. Basically, which weapon for killing zombies is really what it's supposed to be. I mean, there's really only one thing it has to do. It has to be powerful, and it has to have a decent amount of ammo so it get you into the higher rounds without needing a lot of max ammo. So really, it's just the same thing. All the categ categories are going to have to tie in together. So I try to do my best with coming up with categories, but if you have any categories that you think would make it a little bit more interesting, don't forget to leave that in the description below and tell me <laughs> what gun you like better. I've said that like eight times. Anyways, guys, my name is Magic, and I'm out. Man, it's money looking evil. I think it's the devil. Feel like I'm a rebel. Pedal to the metal. If you really want that bling, I pull that string like I'm Geppetto. I heard you should never settle for that chick who rocks the lettos. Like, everybody really wanna copy the game. Heart so cold like a rock in the chain, but I really wanna go. Really